Darlings, today we're going to be doing some 1950s baking, precisely a 1950s lemon fairy cake. So let's get started. We just put in 113 grams of sugar and now we're going to put in equal amounts of the margarine. And now we're just going to cream this together. You would usually use a beater for this um, to get a really good mix, but we're doing it by hand today, the old fashioned way. I don't actually have any sort of mixer at all. It is definitely a very good arm workout. The next step after we've creamed the margarine and the sugar together is to add the eggs and the lemon rind. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add the two eggs that I've already pre-beaten together. Then we're going to add the lemon rind and just mix that together. So I've got my good old fashioned flour sifter here. So we're just gonna sift this flour through. Now my little handle on this is broken, it doesn't actually turn it, so we will need to. One teaspoon of baking powder it calls for, and we're gonna be putting that through the sifter as well. So this recipe, it is a baking powder advertisement that I found. It's called Bird's Baking Powder. So I don't actually have Bird's Baking Powder. I don't think they make it anymore. Hopefully it'll do the trick. And now once we put the flour and the baking powder together, we're just gonna fold this through. So the very unspecific instructions for a little milk to mix. Um, we're just gonna do that. Just add a little bit of milk. Um, until it looks like it's the right consistency and just keep folding that through. Really hope it turns out. It just looks really lumpy to be honest. I think we might use this one because there's not actually a lot of cake batter. I'm calling this done. I forgot to turn the oven on. really really stupid I was so preoccupied and getting all of my ingredients ready so I could just put them in the bowl and I forgot to turn the oven 90 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm just gonna grease this loaf tin now and then I guess I'll just work on the icing I'm waiting for the oven to preheat there was actually another little interesting tip that I was watching in a 1940 baking video and that is after you grease your loaf tin you then go ahead and lightly flour over the greased tin, which was really interesting. I've never done that before. I wonder how that makes a difference. But for today, we're just going to grease it. Looks like it's not going to be a very, very high cake. It looks quite, looks quite shallow. Lucky I didn't put it in that donut, donut tin. It turned out paper thin. Back to make the icing now. I'm gonna add the margarine into here and then we're going to add the icing sugar. I am back with a bigger bowl. This was just not gonna work out in a small little jug. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. And it says to cream together with a wooden spoon. Specifically a wooden spoon. This is what it's looking like at the moment. What a sad little flat cake. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next week. Bye! I give up already. I have not opened that. Silly bugger. Just that.